So guys, here we are, back on the live. Hope you're all well, hope you're, hope you're all having a good day. It's pretty it's pretty nice out here in uh, leafy Essex today. So, going to talk about the liver, liver health today. Um, 16 signs your liver needs your support. Um, as always, before we get into it, if you are watching later on on YouTube, please hit subscribe so you don't miss any videos. If you're watching on Facebook, like, comment, share it with anyone you think may need this and the same on um instagram you know share it whatever make sure it gets out to the people you think is relevant so it's a little bug for that so um we're going to talk about this because the liver is your battery of life and without it you're not going to be functioning very well uh, and i posted um, a picture from one of our clients matt last week where he had actually gone through a liver cleanse and he'd purged a lot of different liver stones gallstones um, depends on what research you want to look into <laughs> it depends on what uh, so it comes out of your body um, so and it got quite a big reaction from people oh my god what are they how they come out etc so yeah these come out through your stool and the way they the way it can, comes out when you actually give the body a particular process to go through the liver will dump or gall, gallbladder will dump these stones uh, that have, have been you know the toxic deposits in the body now Unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, before you start doing this, you need to get your body into a certain level of health. You know, you can't just start pulling certain toxins out and put your body through processes that um, could lead to a deep healing crisis. Now, whenever you're going through healing, you're going to get a little bit of a healing crisis. A healing crisis is something that happens where the body opens up its detoxification pathways um, before, and well, it opens up its detoxification pathways, which may not have been able to open before um, because you're living in a certain way. And when it opens them up, if you open them up too quickly and your body's not ready for it and it's been extremely toxic, then it can lead to big problems in terms of you're feeling very rough, you can get nauseous, you can get big skin eruptions, um, vomiting, diarrhea, you name it, you can get it, okay? So you want these things to be as, as least or as less, um, less problematic as possible. So there's certain things that we do to set the body up first. You know, we go through a whole process on our program of clearing toxins mentally and emotionally, uh, physically, uh, by going through certain nutritional uh, protocols. And then we go through certain protocols uh, from the body in terms of colon, liver, etc. We go into it, okay? But we have to clear, clear certain surface toxins first because if you start to pull out things quickly when your body's not ready for it it can lead to big problems and it can lead to people getting seriously ill so that's why i always recommend working with someone who knows what they're doing who's gone through this process themselves who's gone through it with clients many times before before you just start jumping into things and starting starting going through protocols that could leave you feeling feeling very very ill i mean not people start to feel rough and they think oh my god things aren't working and so they stop when in fact they are working but maybe they're just working a bit too quickly when we go through things you know we go process and people still can get headaches etc and there's actual things that we can do to nullify the the um extent and the level of discomfort you know in taking people off of highly allergenic foods inflammatory foods things like coffee sugar body can get withdrawal symptoms and there's things that we can do around that but that's why i always say it's really important to work with someone who knows what they're doing um and you know it's it, it's it's important to understand the body as well um for example around springtime the liver will start to de detoxify itself and people can go this is when this all happened uh, around the covid and people were falling ill the, the body is the body goes through different cycles and springtime is when the liver actually starts to clean up house and you might start to feel a bit rough you might get a few sniffles cold fluey and that's just normal as the liver starts to, 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 to clean itself out different organs will go through different detoxification um, at different times of the year so it's really important to know this now when it comes to the liver the liver doesn't actually um, just like store toxins that like people think it does. So people say, oh, I'm not eating the liver, liver stores toxins. No, no, the liver helps the body process toxins so it can actually remove them through the feces and through the urine. It also has a digestive quality um, in that it actually, um, it actually 
helps to process nutrients um, into the small intestine and the bile from the liver is secreted into the small intestine and it plays an important role in digesting fats and certain vitamins, fat soluble vitamins. It's why when people get their gallbladder removed they have problem, problems digesting certain fats etc. But there's certain things you can do around it. Luckily the body is really clever and it will take up the slack and it will actually start to if you eat them in a certain way and you, t you take certain supplements, but the body, the organs are very, very clever. They can actually start to take up slack from the gallbladder. Never be a 100% optimal function, but there's certain things you can do. Now, people are actually ask me, how will I know if my liver's not performing? As I said before, research has shown that most people's livers are actually functioning at 40% of optimal capacity, and that's no surprise considering the amount of toxins that we're exposed to today. Um, also, if you look into our Vedic medicine, Chinese medicine, you'll see certain organs um, hold different levels of emotions. For example, the liver does hold anger. There was a smile to help your liver clean um, and clear things. You know, the gut can hold grief and resentment. And there's different things. That's why people, that's why mo modern medicine doesn't know anything about the back. Lots of tension secrets are held in certain parts of the body especially in the back and these are these are why we need to go through mental and emotional clearing as well as physical and nutritional clearing um, and so you know we're exposed to a lot of um, as many as hundred thousand industrial industrial chemicals in the air you've got processed food rancid oils um, hydrogenated fats um, poor quality food um, so then you've got your, your food, if you're not eating organic, it's sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, rodenticides, chemical fertilizers, insecticides, um, and your poor quality water, heavy metals, people using deodorants, perfumes, etc. The body's under a complete burden, uh, and your liver has to process these, has to help the body rich, excrete them. So a, little, a few things, I've got 16 things here that will help you know if your body needs, I mean, most people do need to be cleaned out. I go through this process uh, twice, at least once, if not twice a year, as long as other things as well, skin, colon cleaned, kidneys, etc. And there's certain things I do on a daily basis. And so we look at like things like abdominal bloating, the pain or discomfort over the liver, so the right um, upper abdominal area of the rib cage. if you've got pain there, you can tell your liver probably needs to help. Um, excess, excessive abdominal fat, um, pot belly or, or, or fat around the upper abdomen, means you've probably got trouble digesting fatty foods. If you've had your gallbladder removed, probably need help, um, your liver needs help, because it's gonna be under a constant burden. And you've got things like acid reflux or heartburn, because it means you know, your body, the, the medical industry will give you antacids for that, which is the complete opposite of what you need to do. No one's got too much stomach acid. If you had too much stomach acid, you'd have had supreme digestion, because you'd be assimilating um, your foods to the point your body can actually digest them. So antacids are the complete wrong thing to do. If you, if you <laughs> the reason you, you haven't got enough stomach acid, so your esophageal sphincter stays open and that leads to um, acid coming up into the throat. So one of the things you need to do, if your liver's not working properly, that can actually stop your body um, excreting bile and then get those nutrients absorbed. Uh, if you get dark spots on your skin or face, it was referred to as liver spots, um, overheating of the body, like too much perspiration, acne, rosea, itchy, blotchy skin, these things all um, tell me the liver probably needs, needs help. Then you've got things like unexplained weight gain and an inability to lose weight even with calorie, calorie restriction. Um, that comes from the fact that the body is very, very clever. So if you're having too many things that are toxic, it'll actually wrap, wrap those toxins in fat because it doesn't want them to harm your central nervous system or any of your other nervous systems, okay? Um, <laughs> and because if it releases them, it makes you very, very ill and it actually affect certain parts of, of the body and can lead to, if you release too many heavy metals, it happens when people get amalgams pulled out of their teeth, it can lead to things like para paralysis. So you have to be really, really careful. So the body's really clever, it wraps the toxins in fat. And so if your liver's not able to process them, it can lead to excess weight gain as well. Um, seasonal allergies as well, if you've got backed up liver, really important not only your food stuff going through the gut lining into your bloodstream but if it can't get rid of them seasonal allergies backed up liver things like hay fever high blood pressure low low um, energy fatigue excessive fatigue mood swings sleep apnea and snoring and like fatty yellowish lumps around the eyes all these things tell me your liver's backed up okay so it's really important to, to clean the body and to clean the liver i mean the way you create health is the way you always create health you're looking at hydration sleep good food exercise you know movement but when we look at specific specific organs 
especially people in our society where people drink a lot of alcohol, you know, it's important to clean the liver out and you need to do it in certain ways. So there's certain things you can do just on a daily basis, you know, because if you're not clearing out toxins properly, then blood's just going to be, toxic blood's going to be circling and it's going to lead to a lot of issues. You know, let's we'll talk about the brain. You know, the brain can only be as healthy as the blood that surrounds it. And if you've got toxic blood circling the brain, circling the body, it's going to lead to other issues. And wherever your weakness is, that will break and then you'll get problems. And then also, that's why today we've got like um, fatty liver disease with people that haven't even drunk alcohol because of the diet so bad, have so many rancid processed hydro uh, hydrogenated fats that leads to problems with the liver as well. So, the things that you can do, I mean, obviously you want to go through, I always say, suggest working with people that know what they're doing um, and going through a full body process, mental, emotionally, spiritually, energetically, nutritionally. But, you know, things you can do daily, make sure you're hydrated. You know, the best solution for pollution is dilution, so making sure you're hydrated. Then you want to remove as many um, highly processed, allergenic, inflammatory foods as possible, along with rancid oils. You know, things with, obviously you want to get rid of like, things like sugar, are not great refined sugar but at least the body can use them process them if you're if you're exercising enough you can actually burn them off things like rancid oils your body doesn't do that it actually stores them and this is why you have to take certain things to get rid of them so you need to get rid of rancid oils okay um stopping using toxic skin products is a big one as well full of parabens sls's other other rancid um endocrine disrupting um compounds uh, most women use up to five kgs of well, they have five kgs of toxic sludge pass through their body every single year and they wonder why they've got all these issues leading to cancer endocrine problems hormone problems you know so try and use as many clean products as possible skin products and you shouldn't really put anything on your skin that you wouldn't eat so that's another thing okay try to limit alcohol consumption and if you're having alcohol try and take things before and after like probiotics um, liver cleansers etc that can really help which we'll get into in a minute Try to sweat at least four four times a week, whether that's doing exercise or getting an infrared saunas, for example. Studies have shown that the men in Sweden uh, actually live seven years longer than most of the men in Europe, other men in Europe, because they have a sauna four to seven times a week. Uh, and then you can, as I said before, try and add something like a liver cleanser into your daily daily routine. So I always have like milk thistle or liver support by Nature's Answer or liver tone by Nature's Answer in my morning um, morning tonic lemon lemon water. So lemon water helps the body energize and actually detoxify, as well as putting these ingredients. So in like liver um, liver support, for example, I have milk thistle, then dandelion, things like sarsaparilla, wasabi is really good as well. They're great for helping the body purge. Um, gentian in the root red clover, prick, prickly, prickly ash bark, uh, rhubarb root. These are all, I think it's Oregon grape in there as well, um, as well as golden seal root. These things all help the liver purge, okay? So these are things you can just add into your morning tonic, okay? Um, and I always like to use, I mean, capsules are really good if you want to take some capsules with you in terms of milk thistle to carry around with you. Have them have you, if you're having a drink or have them in the morning. But in my morning tincture, I always like uh, liquid because it's just absorbed really easy straight through into the, into the, straight through the gut, into the bloodstream, for example. The body doesn't have to, to break it down. So hopefully that helps, guys and girls, um, get into it. I won't go into actual the, the process and the protocol we use to, to clean the liver out because it would give people well, processes that could be detrimental to them okay i always say make sure you're doing things properly but those are some things you can do daily just to make sure your liver is working and if you've got any of those symptoms i mentioned before the 16 different things it might be time to, to to actually clean your body out um and we actually go colon first before we do a liver anything with the liver because if the colon is not if the colon is not ready to get rid of toxins then putting things out of the liver before the colon is ready can cause problems so there's certain specific ways we go through things and even before that we do a whole process that cleans the body out mentally emotionally energetically first because you've got different layers the body's like an onion you've got different layers of toxins okay so anyway i hope this helps guys and girls hope that hope that's giving you some some um insight into why you know we live in a very toxic world this is why it's important not just to look at the things you're putting on your skin in terms of makeup and perfumes etc but also what you're washing your clothes in soaps you're using shampoos you're using uh, and keeping yourself hydrated and even the materials you're using try and use like organic um, not man-made materials all these things impact our aura energy field as well as 
Um, you know, it was well. It's, it's the other things. Well, if you're washing your your bed sheets in toxic chemicals, then you're going to be having them lay on you for eight hours a day. And these all these things add up. Okay. Anyway, that's probably enough for information overload. So I hope that's helped, guys and girls. I will be getting into a few other videos I've got coming up, especially around something I posted earlier today about not letting uh, other people's opinions affect you, etc., and how you get into that, uh, and some other stuff as well. We'll be talking about psoriasis. But um, yeah, I hope that's helped, people. Otherwise. Uh, yeah, as always, I've actually got a really good interview coming out tomorrow actually with a guy all about um, mitigating 5G, which will be coming out very soon as well. But anyway, any questions you've got around this, let me know. I'll try and get to them as well. Otherwise, as always, stay happy, stay healthy. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.